Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I normally do no voiceover, but today we're going to do a voiceover. It's December the 7th. Today I decided I was going to go get me an iPad. I had been trying to order it online, but for some reason, like, it was telling me zero dollars to do today. Then it tell me that the order wasn't complete. Then it was just telling me how to start with the order. Okay, so boom, we're here. We found the Verizon location. I'm finna get ready to go to Verizon. So I'm at the traffic light right now. I'm just waiting eventually. And then I head to Verizon. When I get here, I go on the inside. I meet this nice lady. She was real nice to me. Uh, I just told her exactly what I just said to y'all, which I've been trying to get this iPad, but I don't know if online is making my order complete or not. So she gave me straight started with the process. She tell me, like, pick everything you need, such, such, and such, and such, and such, because y'all let me uh, all this and that in the diary. So, boom, I get the iPad. They tell me they ain't have pink. She tell me a little deal, like, I can bring it back in 45 days, a $55 restock fee to change the color if they have it in stock. I get to opening the iPad. I really haven't got used to the iPad, but I'm trying to get used to the iPad. Today was my first day getting it along with me having to handle life and just business and do hair and just be up and down the road. So I really haven't sat here and processed the iPad, but I have been on it a little bit. So I'm unboxing it here at Verizon. She put all the cases and stuff on there for me. So I had got this Apple Pen too. Um, it's good. I don't know how to use it for real yet. I haven't got it connected to the iPad. But she was real nice. She put my temper glass on and everything. She made sure I opened everything in storage. She told me my warranties or whatever or not that I had on all the items that I got, which I got a case of temper glass in the pen plus the iPad. This was how the case turned out once we got it on there. I stuck the pen in there. It was a good case. Um, then we at home. Now, so y'all, I'm trying to set it up for y'all. I'm going to connect this to the Wi-Fi, but for some reason right here, I was having technical issues. I eventually didn't, did get it set up or whatnot, but right here was just the start of the process of me trying to get it hooked up. I'm, um, I got it. My iCloud is um downloading now, so like really I can't install the update until it's downloaded. So this video right here is really just like the unboxing and me just getting it on past the set up stage so when i do get it fully fit i'm pretty sure y'all see more of it because i'm going to be showing y'all how to do intros and stuff like that so y'all get to see how the lock screens and stuff and for more of the um ipad look um further into the channel but this right here was me getting set up and getting a little simple stuff done to it i thank you guys for subscribing liking and watching my videos um i hope this route is very much interesting for y'all as much as it is for me uh, I was so happy to have my iPad today. Like, I was really happy, like, because I thought I wasn't going to get it. And me striking off my Christmas list on my own, I do have this iPad and this, um, this camera that I want to get to help my YouTube channel grow or whatnot. So, hopefully, all this just work out for me. And, yeah, thank you, guys. Um, I'm going to try some music on, so this I won't have to just be bored through the rest of the video. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep talking. I'm sorry, y'all. This is my first voiceover, so I hope it's not weird and then like that. But okay, so I was having some network issues, as y'all can tell. So I had to keep going back, like back and forth, like trying to get stuff done, trying to get it set up or whatnot. I eventually did got it set up, though. Like I had to keep doing this over and over and over again. Besides that, it finally worked. Like I tried it on my um hotspot, then I tried to go back to the um resident Wi-Fi that we had here. Like we don't have to have no our own antenna because we got Wi-Fi here, and it actually worked good when you wanna like. So like really, that was a plus. Like. I actually love how I stay, you guys. Um, it's a nice um complex or whatnot. I just I don't like student living personally. Um, now that I'm growing older and like having a business and stuff like that, but it's nothing wrong with it. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that more on um, in my channel, like about you know first time apartment choices and stuff like that, cause this was my first time apartment choice. I think this time right here, too, y'all, I'm going to get it right. I think it's going to go through. I think so. I think, yeah, I just had to 
I would have to add a device name, stuff like that, but it still worked good. Yeah, I think it did work right here. I finally ended up getting the Wi-Fi to work for me. So, after getting it to work, I finally moved on. I got further most set up. Like, I began to start work on my um fingerprint. And, yeah, that's the most confusing thing ever. So, you know, like, how on the iPhone, like, our fingerprint is normally, like, right at the bottom. Like, you would think that this iPad 10 have, like, more so of a face ID, but it don't have a face ID. It have a fingerprint in the passcode. So, like, that was weird to me. Like, when y'all see me put my fingerprint on this iPad, y'all gonna even find it weird because I didn't even know where to start. So, it's just like, yeah, I definitely knew then that, like, this is, like, a big technical difficulty for me, although it's the main thing I wanted. So, it's just, like... All these expensive softwares and stuff like that, they're good to want. But once you get them, don't waste your money if you you don't waste your money if you don't know what to do with them. So like me, really, I really plan to put this iPad to use because I don't want to just be able to say I got it just to have it. Like I really want to know what I can and can't do with it, and especially if it's gonna help me grow in any way. Then I want to use this iPad to the best of its ability. But yeah, it's like, y'all, I kept trying to put my fingerprint right here at the bottom, thinking this how it go, y'all. It don't even go like that. It go all the way at the top. Like, it's a little, like, near the speaker area. It's like, where to put your fingerprint at? And it's just like, I know I'm not this slow, but this iPad had me feeling so slow. And this one I seen right there, that it say touch at the top right there. Like, if y'all can see right there, it say touch at the top. So, this one, I started doing it, and I got that right. And that took me, like, I said a good three minutes to do this fingerprint set up thing. It was still difficult after I found the spot that to go in. Because it was just, like, how you hold your hand right here? This iPad is such a huge, like, <laughs> oh, my God, it is huge. Although, I think I'm going to love it. Like, it's to the point where I would have to find the worth in the need in things that I buy because sometimes it don't be it just be a want so like I didn't kind of became real skeptical on stuff like that like I be had to make it make sense other than that though like I think everything else is good now that I done finally got this fingerprint working we got this halfway done y'all see what I went through trying to get it did right <laughs> like I went through the utmost trying to get this fingerprint on this iPad. Like, they definitely should have Face ID. But good job, Apple, for releasing another generation of your guys' iPad, if I must say. So, I don't know if this is like a review and an unboxing. Because, yeah, they had so many more fingerprints. I didn't want to go through it no more. So, I'm like, look, where is it? So, you know what? Me being me, I'm just like, I'm finna skip it. So, I was just like, I'm gonna do this later. I, um, like, cause this, that's so confusing. So we just went to later. I created the passcode for the thing. You know, I gotta hide that. Y'all can't see that. Y'all probably still see what I put in, but okay, carry on. Ah! Then the iPad is so wide. It's just to the point where I was typing the password in wrong. So it's just like, you know what? This stylish pen is going to help me a lot because with my hands, I'm going to always overtype me something wrong. So, I feel like if you do get this iPad, the pencil pen is well needed in order to, like, keep your order of things. Because you can't sit up here and type on this wide screen all day. It's more for it to be sketched on, drawn on, notes, notepad, stuff like that. So, like, don't think you just didn't get this for no messages and stuff like that. Like, it has way more worth than that. And I would call it out to be for, like, bloggers or business owners or, you know, nursing students or any type of student who, like, electronics over notepads. So, like... It's a good investment for those kind, but if you just get something for a child to play on, please don't get this for them because only thing get this about it is a big screen, but that is not going to give you back your money worth for using this to all its ability. So I don't think that this is a play thing. I think you're supposed to take this investment 
over the top. And yeah, so I bagged this stuff up and it's it's still downloading to this day, like to right now and to this time, if I must say. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna let y'all get halfway into this iPad with me. I thank y'all for watching me thus far. Like comment and subscribe for whatever more interest that you guys want to see and yeah also when we get on to the end i got a little surprise for y'all if you like black business and you feel like black business should grow and if you're a black business and you want your business to grow then i suggest you now go to the comment section and start hashtagging your business because right now what i'm finna do when we get to the end it's I'm finna hashtag my business. Yes, I feel like all business should grow. All black business should grow. But right here, let me wait. Let me wait before we... Y'all just make sure y'all put y'all business hashtag in the um comments. But right here, y'all see is restoring my iCloud from my phone. So, as I'm waiting on it to restore, I just show y'all the case, which is real cute or whatnot. And then now we go back to supporting the black business. So, Tiny Tresses, I'm going to need y'all to go check that out. Like, public website, all around shipping, three to five days. Um, If it's not in stock, we can get it in stock. Um, For the most part, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to drop your black business.